Hey everyone, I'm Nicholas from the Unusual Whales team, and in this video series, I'll be walking you through each tool on the Unusual Whales platform. In the videos that follow, we'll break down each page in detail and touch on important definitions, but for this first video, we'll just be going over what each page is, what information you can find there, and how to navigate the website. When you first head over to unusualwhales.com, this is the main page you'll see. In the header, you can navigate to any unusual tool you need. Under the Flow Data tab is where the main Unusual Whales flow feed sits, along with all other options data, such as the hottest contracts, Open Interest Explorer, and Flow Alerts. Now in this Flow Data tab, you can also find Market Overview Data, the Dark Pools feed, sector flows, and a lot more, including the news feed here, of course. Now, if you go from here to the resources tab, you can find other important tools, such as the options profit calculator, which is free on the site, paper trading to practice your flow trades, as well as stock and option watch lists, where you can save and track any flow that's hit the tape. From here, there's also the education tab. In the education page, we break down the basics of options, various option strategies, as well as other ways to navigate and utilize Unusual Whales platform. All right, now let's head over to the market overview. The market overview page is a dashboard where you can get a bird's eye view of how the market is performing overall. At the top here, you've got a ticker feed showing index and volatility performance. Directly beneath that is the market tide. This chart displays put premium versus call premium on either a one day or a one hour time frame. You can also adjust to view only premiums on contracts slotted on out of the money contracts. This way you're only seeing the premiums that come in on contracts out of the money. To the right of that is a table displaying the top tickers by daily net premium. So the tickers with the most money transacting for this given day. Beneath those are the sector flow that displays each sector's market performance for the day, as well as the unusual whales news feed so you can stay informed throughout the day while you're scouting flow. At the bottom, is the market seasonality, which shows the month-to-month -month performance of the markets and sectors, as well as a housing space for your watch lists. So here, if you build any stock watch list, they'll display right here and be separated between winners and losers on the day. At the time of recording, we've had a market-wide pullback, so none of my watch lists are in the winners tab, but you get the idea. Now over here on the left hand side is another navigational bar, just like the one on the home page, except this one you can access from any other location on the platform. So let's go ahead and peek at the flow feed next, the flagship tool on the Unusual Whales platform. Now the Unusual Whales flow feed displays all options flow across multiple exchanges. If an order fills on an options contract, it will show up in this feed, whether it involves 10,000 contracts or just, you know, a few, one, two, three, like these pieces of flow you see here. On the left side of the header for the flow feed are filters, settings, and my trades. My trades is where any flow you heart from that main flow feed will display. So if you are in the flow and you click this heart, that LQD trade we just clicked on is going to show up in my trades. This is where you can save all of the chains you're tracking. The settings, you can pick and choose which columns will display in your feed. And then of course, the filters tab here. This is where you can narrow down what types of flow will display in your feed. You can have it be wherever on the bid and ask spread you want it to fill. So if you only want ask side flow to display, you can hide bid and vice versa. Now you can also save any layouts of filters that you have up here in the custom watch list. Now again, we'll go through what all of these filters are and what they mean in a more in-depth video later. For now, we're just getting this quick overview.
Now from right here in the flow feed, we're going to navigate next to another very important page on the Unusual Whales platform, the Tickers Overview page. Now in this case, we chose target ticker TGT, but this will be the same page for any ticker you select. First and foremost, we've got this big table that displays the options volume here. It's calls and puts. You can also display net premium. So how much money is transacting on calls and puts? And you can switch that to net premium, just net premium bearish versus bullish. And you can choose any number of time frames you would like here. Beneath that, we've got the top volume chains. So which contract has the most volume on the day? There's also the highest open interest change. Which contracts have the most open interest already outstanding in positions? This overview page also includes the latest news for the specific ticker, insider transactions for the ticker, and analyst ratings. You can also see the daily gamma exposure. Up here at the top where it says overview, you can navigate to any information you need for this ticker, ranging from the company's financials to the amount of short interest in the company, the options chains, you can even chart the ticker directly from Unusual Whales here. Next, we're going to take a peek at interval flow. Now, interval flow is another iteration of the flow tool. In this case, the orders for any given options chain are aggregated over a period of time. Now, you can choose your own time window between 5, 10, and 30 minutes. All of the filter capabilities from the main flow tool are also available on interval flow, so you can fully personalize what types of orders in those time frames will hit your flow. Now, similarly, there is alerts flow, the flow alerts. The alerts flow page also pushes aggregate trades as well as large single order trades into your feed based on a set of defined rules. You can read more about those just by clicking the rules button up here. And once again, you can create your own watch lists and your own filters just like the other flow feed pages we've covered. One other really important options flow page is the hottest contracts page. Now the hottest contracts page shows all data on contracts with over 250 volume. Using this page, you can view actively traded contracts intraday. Now using a filter such as the ask side percent can filter your results toward those which might be being bought to open. You could also do the bid percent, higher percentage of bid transactions on these hottest contracts chains with over 250 volume will show some that might have a higher likelihood of being sold to open. Other filters like the total premium traded and the low multi-leg percent can further narrow down your results. But again, we'll hit all of these filters and what they mean in our flow in-depth video. Now from here, I wanted to touch on the Superflow tab because the Superflow tab is often misconstrued as quote unquote, only the best flow displays here. But actually the purpose of this page is to allow you to set up your own customized modular overview. Now you can add any array of windows you want here. You can add a flow feed. And in this case, I'm just gonna take an existing filter I have by copying this URL carrying it over here to the Superflow, adding that window, and now we have one window of flow. You can also add charts. Let's say you wanna have the spy chart on here at all times, you can add that. Now this is a fully modular page. You can create whatever you want here and then organize them as you see fit. You can click and drag them, you can stack them, you can put them side by side, it's fully modular. This is something that we'll dive deeper into on another video to show you how you can set this page up and fully modify your feeds all from the same dashboard. All right, everybody, that does it for the first video.
in our Unusual Whales platform video series. Like I said, we're going to dive deeper into each of these tools, go through all of the definitions, and explain what a lot of those filters in the flow mean in our next video. Have a great day, everybody.